All right, we are now going to turn our eyes to the Mountain West Conference Championship game. And the headliner here, obviously, is the punt god. It is Matt Ariza. Shout out to Mrs. Ariza, his mother, on social media. She does a great job of making sure to repost every single positive thing that is written about her son. And we've been a part of that. We were really one of the early adopters of the awesomeness of San Diego State's punter and kicker and kickoff specialist. He does it all for them. This game, though, to be totally honest, I, I don't know if anyone could hear. It does sound like I have the flu. I do have the flu. I can't smell or taste anything, which is a good thing because this game stinks. At least in my opinion, <laughs> the way it's going to play out is going to be just not appetizing whatsoever. Because really, what's probably going to happen in this one is San Diego State is going to win like 20 to 13 or 19 to 12. Like some score that is just not easy to figure out, you know, after the fact how it was actually reached. Because San Diego State is a defense that not only takes away the running game to start, they're so physical that they take you out of what you're doing. And this Utah State offense, Logan Bonner is, he's kind of like that, that rec league basketball player who's got all the extra armbands and, you know, elbow pads and knee pads, because the guy's been banged up a lot this year. He's had multiple limp offs. Their backup quarterback is now officially on the shelf. So if he does get hurt, they have no one to turn to in this game. And then when you look at, the game within the game here, Utah State, you know, butters their bread on the big play, particularly through the air. They're top 30 in yards per attempt. They like to, to score quick and hit those big plays to Tompkins. And in this particular game, San Diego State, even though they're better against the run, they just don't give up the big play through the air. When you look at their um, opponents are only hitting 6.1 yards per attempt, which is seventh nationally it doesn't need to get all that more, much more complicated. So instead of me being emotionally tied up in how much I love the San Diego state defense and how much I hate the San Diego state offense, I'm going to play the team total for Utah state under 22 and a half. Really that the key number there for me was three touchdowns. So the fact that it's above that, I think is a gift. I think this is a Utah state team that we've been, you know, kind of carrying their story throughout the season. Just a great turnaround to go from one and five to the, the conference championship game is great work by Blake Anderson. I will say their, their offense in general went from having no identity last year to being one of the most dynamic passing attacks, but the San Diego state defense is special. Kurt Maddox is going to cook up a great game plan here. And I think that they're going to put a lot of pressure on Logan Bonner. And because of that three touchdowns, I think is just a bridge too far. So what do you think about that play? Not necessarily to, to punt on this, you know, this game as a whole, you know, uh -huh. some, so dump it in there for a riser. But really, this is the only one that was appealing to me because I've been on the side of San Diego State multiple times this season, and I've never had the passion play of being so excited when their defense is on the field and just so fearful when their offense is on the field. San Diego State is one of those half teams that makes Iowa's offense look dynamic. I actually wrote down that I leaned under 50, um, but I really probably won't play this game. Um, I don't know that I've ever played a San Diego State game just because, like you said, it's there. I feel bad that we've now become – we've become the official podcast of Mountain West Mothers, um, so I feel bad not having a play on, on our boy, Punk God. But I just – like you said, I can never get a feel for the San Diego State team because I just – their offense is so bad that you, you, you watch them and you – you know, whether you're watching them or reading the box score, you're like, how has this team ever won a game? I think the perfect the perfect way to sum it up, too, is, you know, you're if you're on Twitter or listening to podcasts or watching shows or whatever, you know, you'll hear people talk like, you know, Kenny Pickett had the flu and it mispracticed. That's a huge story. Frank Harris, everyone's tracking his Frank Harris going to play. You know, Trailer had to come out and say he, he is playing. We don't know who San Diego State's quarterback's going to be. And literally nobody cares. <laughs> like, yes. You could throw out a mop and bucket and it's like, who cares? Just just get off the field as fast as possible. So rise and can pin them deep. That's their goal of their offense. So, I mean, yeah, Brookshire's, you know, he started at the beginning of the season and then got hurt. And then Johnson came in and Brookshire came back and then he stunk. So they benched him and Johnson came back and he stinks too. And then Johnson gets hurt last week. Brookshire comes in and uh, he did actually look pretty good last week. But like I said, it doesn't matter who their quarterback is. They, they both have a passing grade in the low 60s. They rank 11th and 12th in the Mountain West for all quarterbacks with at least 100 dropbacks. They've combined for 14 big time throws, 15 turnover worthy plays. So this isn't an offense you really want to have anything to do with. Um, and yeah, Utah State's offense has been very good. But the one area of concern is they're pretty one dimensional. And that is a problem against an elite defense like the San Diego State. Like you said, the, the their number one goal, game plan is stop the run. They're second in the country defending the run. 
Well, Utah State's 118th in rushing success, 106th in line yards. You know, they may be held for under 50 rushing yards. And that's, you know, putting a lot of pressure on Logan Bonner, who, yeah, he's been great. And, and you know, Tompkins is electric. He actually leads the country in receiving yards. He passed Stearns. He has, he has four more yards than Stearns in our G5 battle for the, the nation's leading receiver, neither of which are Belenikoff Trophy Award winners, obviously, because this place is a joke. But the San Diego State defense can keep him in check. They're 10th against the pass. They have two really, really good cornerbacks in Taylor Hawkins and Trenton Thompson. So... I agree with you. I, I think I I lean the under here. I'm also fine with the Utah State team total under because I think, you know, they both probably hit. The Utah State does play fast, but San Diego State's 114th in plays per minute. They're going to run the ball. They, they're, they're the type of team that wants to go three and out. They want to go three and out to let the punt god pin it at the five. So, uh, you know, how about this? Here's here's my official play. Find any sort of prop on Matariza. Matariza punts inside the 10 over three and a half. Take that. I like it.